So I hear you've come up with a new invention and that you've registered your patent and now you're going to license that patent to someone who wants to exploit it. What you might not know is that licensing a patent can be complex. Section 189, subsection 1 of the Patents Act 1990 allows a patentee subject to any rights appearing on the register to deal with a patent as the absolute owner of it and give good discharges for any consideration for such dealing. Exploiting of patent rights has become an integral part of maximising a return on investment and is recognised as an important mechanism for the transfer of technology which is crucial to the ongoing development of the global economy, particularly in those developing nations. One way to achieve this is by issuing a licence. The Patents Act defines a license in Schedule 1 as a license to exploit or to authorise the exploitation of a patent invention. The issue of a license may be exclusive, sole, non-exclusive or simple. The effect of that license is to permit the licensee to do something that would otherwise be an infringement of your patent. So today, I'll let you know some issues to consider before granting a license. Number one, put your license in writing. Now while section 187 of the Act recommends that a license agreement should be in writing and registered, it should be done so for two reasons. Registration provides protection against a bona fide purchaser for value by providing proof of notice of the registrant's interest. And registration facilitates the admissibility in court proceedings of evidence establishing the license agreement. You can see these in sections 195 and 196. Now a license agreement provides a positive right. This is because through a license you are giving the other party the right to enforce your patent or, specifically, rights under the original patent to stop them from practicing your claims, which is giving them a covenant not to sue under the claims of the patent. 2. Define clear terms within your license agreement. Know who the parties are. If you are issuing a patent license to a company, does the company have any affiliates or other entities which may exercise a level of control over your patent? Is there anything else within your patent that could be ambiguous? Are there geographical issues that could be interpreted differently between the parties? Consider limiting the patent license. Does the licensee want global rights, or do you still want the right to exploit in certain areas where you may have market capitalisation? Is your patent needed for a specific gas or chemical plant, and therefore site-specific only? Or is the patent purpose-specific? This ties in well with clearly identifying a company and any of its affiliates. You need to make clear who is able to use the patent. Address infringement issues. It's important to state that granting a license does not give a right to infringe upon any third party patents. Having an indemnity clause is useful in case someone accuses you of inducing your licensee to infringe upon their patent. It also acts as a real deterrent against such behaviour. Maintain confidentiality. Not only will this be important to you, but the other party will want to ensure that you don't go telling others about the license they've likely just paid a significant amount for. Make sure both parties understand what's at stake if confidential information becomes public. Retain your rights and limit your liabilities. You may want to consider prohibiting any research and development or reverse engineering by the licensee, particularly if you're looking to maximise your return on investment prior to the patent's expiration. You may also want to allow the licensee the opportunity of buying your invention at the end of the patent period. This could save you the expense of renewal. Specify payment. Decide how your licensee is going to pay for the use of your patent. One-time upfront payment, recurring lump sum payment, royalty per se, or is it a mixture of all of these? If you're being paid a royalty per sale, will you be paid at current market rate, and is there a minimum target? Having a detailed reporting and auditing provision will also assist you in tracking what you are owed, minimising any creative accounting on part of the licensee. How long do you intend on enforcing your royalty? In Australia, the courts take a much more commercial approach to royalties paid in full, sometimes well beyond the licence period. Though this is not the same in, for example, the United States of America, whereby discounted royalty rates are often required after the patent's expiration. Geographical considerations, again, become important. Well, I told you things could get complicated, and I feel we've only just scratched the surface. Patent licences can be contentious issues that often result in litigation. It's important you seek appropriate advice at all times. Hopefully this has helped you on your way.